On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, is Best Buy the best option for buying a gaming PC? The TLDR is no. Keep watching to find out why that is as we go through systems they have at every different price point and find you far better options elsewhere. All that and more on this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne, welcome to SI Weekly, and yes, we're finally, truly tackling the Best Buy conundrum. I get this question a lot on stream, I get it a lot in the comments under these videos. Uh, someone's saying, hey, I found this system at Best Buy, is it good? There's problems with that question in general, because I don't know what your specific needs are, what your budget is, yada yada yada. Also people just saying, like, hey, is Best Buy a good place to get a gaming PC? My opinion, and I might be spoiling the video and losing my viewer retention with this, is no, but you should really know why that is. And we're gonna look at systems at multiple different price points all the way up the stack. And I'm gonna show you options that are, in my opinion, far superior. And I'll explain why I feel that way. So strap yourselves in. This one's gonna be fun. As soon as I finish telling you that this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. Now before we go on, I need to go over a couple important disclaimers. This video is being filmed for the week of Monday the 26th of February 2024. Any pricing and availability that you see here can and very likely will change by the time you watch this video. The other thing is you're going to hear my opinions. And there's a very big opinion here. My opinion is that Best Buy is not a good option for buying your gaming PC, at least not always. There are some situations, and we'll go over those, where maybe it's a decent option for you, but it's more like when you're forced into buying from Best Buy. Sure, why not? If you disagree with my opinion, that's totally fine. And there's going to be some of you who bought PCs from Best Buy, and you're going to come in and say, hey, I bought a PC from Best Buy, and it works, and I can game, and I, I, I'm okay. That's great. If that's the case, that's awesome. And I go into this understanding that that's going to be the case. They've been selling PCs for a very long time. That's all right, if, but if that's all you're basing your opinion on, know that I understand that. But I'm more, more trying to talk to people who are trying to decide where to buy their PC. And I'm gonna explain my, my viewpoints fairly thoroughly. Let's look at the runtime of the video and you'll understand. The next thing is that this is not financial advice. I am not uh, telling you, hey, you buy this thing for you, the individual. This is general information, none of it is intended for any individual viewer because I don't have enough information to make a direct recommendation to you. If you want those, come to the stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time. I stream both here on YouTube and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. And you can get on the, you know, you can get on the, the list to get help directly one on one for free uh, by filling out the form that is linked in the description of this video. Now, the last thing is uh, for those of you who are just wanting to buy a pre-built PC, you're not interested in DIY at all, that's totally cool. That's totally fine with me. I've been making videos to help people just like you. Me and Cuddle's been working on this for a couple of years now. And pre-built PCs are pretty much the number one way to get into PC gaming, and for a lot of people, into DIY eventually. Because you're starting with a system that works, and everything is compatible, and all that stuff. But for those of you who are on the fence as to whether you want to go DIY and build it yourself, or buy a pre-built, you should probably take some extra time to consider DIY. There's tons of instructional videos out there on how to build a PC, and for a lot of you, that's a viable option. And for those of you already writing in the comments because this video is about pre-builds, yeah, you know you could save money if you build it yourself. I just think that everyone should build it yourself. Like, dude, we know. We know it's cheaper. People buying pre-builds understand they're, they're paying a premium to get the system built for them, warrantied, all of that stuff. But I'm using this opportunity to say, for those of you who are thinking you might wanna go that route, yeah, go and consider that because you can save money that way and that money will instead go towards your specs and having a more powerful PC. With all that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and venture into the relationship between 
system integrators and big box stores and big corporations like Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, etc. Now, I'm not someone who has worked in the system integrator industry. I, you know, I've been building PCs for like 25 years and I worked for quite a while, uh, about 15 years in the IT industry, okay? So doing some of this stuff professionally, all the way up to IT administrator. So, I mean, I've done, I've worn a lot of hats and I've worked in both sales and I've worked in IT. So putting all those things together and over the last few years, having spoken to many system integrators, I've pieced together the, what, I, what the relationship seems to be between PC building companies and system integrators. It's not a healthy one and it's very competitive and uh, generally the one ending up with the short end of the stick is not gonna be that big box store corporation. From what I've been able to piece together, it seems that what uh, SIs will get or what, the, what will be available to them are, hey, this budget system, minimum these specs, make it work with the biggest profit margin possible, okay? And those specs are gonna be the ones that most of you guys are looking at specifically, CPU and GPU, like that's it. That's the main thing people look for. They're like, most of, a lot of the questions that DIY YouTubers will get like, hey, what's a good GPU to go with the Ryzen 5 3600 or, 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 or with a 7800X 3D or with a Intel 13600K or what's a good CPU to pair with a, you know, 4080 Super or whatnot. Like those are always the two main components that people care about when that's just two components out of a very complex system that's built out of more parts and generally that's where the money is made by shaving off the, the 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 price like getting cheaper motherboards power supplies ram storage all of those things that's where the money is made because there's not really much wiggle room with the cpu and gpu so knowing that that means by default when you buy from a your best buy amazon newegg you're getting a system that has had every corner cut possible. And when you go to a system integrator, the, the company building the PCs themselves, you will not find those exact systems there. You will not find those exact specs there. They are specific to those third party resellers. I would honestly prefer it if they just didn't sell PCs there. And <laughs> I know that's not really that's untenable. That, that's not going to work like that's there's big money to be made we're going to have to deal with it. I would just like to make consumers aware of those corners being cut because it sucks. It really sucks. I just wanted to make you guys a little bit more aware of that situation and where I'm coming from when I say, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not the way to go. There's a very practical reason for it. And besides that, there are some systems that are just a terrible deal an awful deal. And as we're browsing through Best Buy, we'll see, we'll see what some of that is. What I did in order to show you uh, that there are far better choices out there than going to Best Buy, because it can seem like it's the best deal anywhere. Whoa. I got systems at the sub $1,000 budget, you know, 1,000 to 1,500, 1,500 to 2,000, 2,000, yada, yada, yada. And every part of the stack, I got examples of systems at all of those price points and then I found a system that I would recommend instead. To be clear, I understand that there are certain circumstances where you just kind of have to purchase from Best Buy. And there's really just one main circumstance for that. You are planning to purchase it with a Best Buy credit card. Okay, I can't really say anything about that. I can't, uh, I, I, I've got no argument against that. If that's your situation, then you're making the best of, the, of that situation that you can. That's totally fine, I get it. If you're just doing this because you want it sooner, well, there are options that you can get within four or five days for, directly from a system integrator with ready to ship options. So that's not really one that I would go for there, but just the one where if your only payment method you can really do is a Best Buy credit card. Yeah, all right, fair enough. And some of the options I'll show you here are basically what I would have as an answer for this is the best option at this price point. Though we're not really shopping in that way. We're not really going through this in that fashion. So if you want me to help you find the best system you can get from Best Buy uh, with your, you know, with your Best Buy account, come to the stream and get yourself on the list. 
to get help and I'll help you out with that, okay? I didn't just tell you there was a problem, I'm coming in with potential solutions, right? That's the way it should be done. So let's get into it. Now, credit where credit is due, Best Buy does make it fairly easy to browse through their site and find a system at your price point. So let's start with the sub 1000. And I will say I'm, I'm skipping the 500 to 749 price bracket there because truth be told, if you're looking at a system under 750, you should probably just go DIY at that point. You really, really should. And let me make a recommendation to you. Check out Zach's Tech Turf and uh, the Toasty Bros. I mean, they'll show builds under those prices. Check out Nerd on a Budget. They're all great YouTube channels for that. And uh, I can highly suggest that it is definitely a good way to go. Once you're getting up to like the eight or $900 price range, then you can start to see some options that are a bit more viable. Now, what I did was I went ahead and searched through some of these. And I wanna point out that I'm not really recommending any OEM systems. Like for instance, you got this one. See, this is one where I was talking about. It's showing 649 because it's $300 off for the next 17 hours. By the time you see this, that will be gone because we have to edit this stuff. Uh, that that annoys me, okay? Because this is gonna preclude you taking any time to th really think through your purchasing decision and you're just gonna jump on it. But the normal price for this is $950 with a 13100F, a GTX 1660 from NVIDIA, and it's super, 1660 super, my bad, and a 512 gig M.2 drive. But I wouldn't recommend an OEM system for more significant reasons than that. Uh, it's actually more along the lines of certain parts still being proprietary components. In particular, Alienware is a huge offender with this. Never, ever, ever will you hear me recommending a Dell Alienware, a Dell or Alienware PC because it is just guaranteed e-waste at some point. The motherboards are not compatible with any other cases. Their CPU coolers are proprietary. The power supplies are proprietary. The cases are proprietary. None of it can be used with off-the-shelf components, except like the graphics card and CPU and the RAM, I guess. What I recommend are systems from system integrators like this one from iBuyPower, where it's all off-the-shelf components. So let's take a look at this system. Okay, this one's $899. It's the iBuyPower Trace Mesh Gaming Desktop, and this is a newer case from iBuyPower, actually has great airflow, and um, I'm actually a fan of this case, but you can also get it directly from iBuyPower. Let's look at the specs, okay? Intel Core i5-13400F, 16 gigs of memory, uh, an Invo NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, and a 500 gig M.2 drive. When it comes to storage, you should generally start with a one terabyte drive. And that's not like me being some kind of DIY elitist or whatever. Games are huge now, and they're not getting any less huger, okay? They're massive. And game dev studios, big, especially AAA studios, have zero interest in optimizing storage, okay? In fact, for some of them, the fewer games you can have installed on your PC, the better for them. The more you're just gonna play their game and give, you know, give them money through microtransactions. All right, it sucks because you have your operating system on there, your, your local files, and then like three games and then you're out of space. Maybe with a 500 gig drive, that's like down to one or two games. Put Call of Duty on that 500 gig drive along with your operating system, you're already almost out of space. It's bonkers. So that already is a problem. I wanna talk really quickly about the F in that 13400F. In an $800, $900 PC, yeah, totally fine. I get that, okay? As long as you have a dedicated graphics card, you don't need integrated graphics in your CPU because that's what that means. The reason I say it's not a problem if you have a dedicated graphics card is that that's where the graphics really happen. You actually want to just plug into the graphics card. That's what you plug your monitor into. But there are benefits to having the iGPU and those CPUs are not that much more expensive, okay? With the iGPU, with a non-F Intel processor, if your GPU is having issues, well, or if you're maybe thinking that might be the case, you can plug your monitor into the motherboard and troubleshoot that. Aside from that, when you start getting to higher end systems where you're wanting to do some, some video editing and even in a mid-range or budget system where you're trying to get into video editing and things like that, it is very helpful 
to have the iGPU in the Intel processor because then you can use QuickSync. And I'm not gonna go in depth on QuickSync, but QuickSync can be a huge help when it comes to video editing. And once you throw that F on that Intel processor, that is no longer an option without some kind of a CPU upgrade, essentially, okay? It's really annoying. And Best Buy, I don't know if they're doing this on purpose, but like 95%, maybe 98%, I saw very few exceptions to this, of their Intel systems have an F skew whether it's this $900 system or a $2,500 system or whatever. There were very few exceptions to this. And most of the ones that were exceptions were like open box. So that's stuff to, that you need to watch out for, depending on what your use case is for your PC. But what if you don't want to get it from Best Buy because some bald dude on the internet told you not to? Well, if you take a look on iBuyPower's website, there is a section just for ready pre-built PCs, RDY pre-built PCs. These are all ready to ship. And right now it is the 25th of February. Say you order one now, it would arrive by the 28th. That's nuts. Some of these systems on Best Buy's website would come in later than that. Now, clearly there's nothing that matches the system we were looking at, right? There's nothing with the, the same high airflow case. That's not till you get until up to 1129. Um, this one is a 14400F and a 4060, by the way. Uh, this would be a far better option, but it's also $229 more. Quick note though, see this this right here, this little name right here? So oh, it glitched out for a second, it's, it's fine, you see it now. Type that in as a coupon code when you're checking out for that system and it'll take 50 bucks off. Suddenly that's looking like a lot better of a deal. But it's, it's not just the fact that you're going from a 3060 to a 4060, you're also getting DDR5 RAM, which is in a two by eight gig, meaning it's two sticks of RAM dual channel, not a single 16 gig stick. Uh, you're also getting a one terabyte M.2 drive, okay? And you're getting a tower cooler rather than sort of just your out of the box downdraft stock cooler that you would get within, from Intel. Getting actual tower cooler here, um, all of that. And um, yeah, also it's a B760 with uh, motherboard with Wi-Fi from MSI rather than what appears to be an MATX motherboard here, which is gonna limit you on expandability. But that's above our $1,000 price point. So with these here, you're looking at a 14100F and a 6500 XT. I would say the best out of these three lowest price options would be the one that actually you know, surpasses our budget that we set. But let's look at a couple of other options, okay? So we're actually gonna look at SkyTech for this. And the SkyTech system we're gonna look at is the Shiva 2. Now, this may seem counterintuitive because I was just talking about how 5000 series Ryzen is a dead platform, but you need to see this deal, okay? You need to see this system. This one has the Ryzen 5 5600X paired with the AMD Radeon 6600 XT, which under $1,000 is the most powerful GPU so far. You're looking at a one terabyte M.2 drive, 600 watt power supply, so not a lot of room to upgrade in the future without upgrading your power supply as well if you're trying to put a really powerful GPU down the line in here, but you go into it being aware of that. 16 gigs DDR4 and a B550 motherboard. So I would say if you're not wanting to go just above $1,000 to grab yourself this one right here, the ReadyTrace 7MP005, it's a really slick name, totally just as cool as Shiva 2. If you're looking to, if you're not looking to go, you know, to $1,070 for that, where you're getting a 4060, which can beat the RX 6600 XT, uh, and comes with all the NVIDIA stuff, all the, you know, DLSS 3.0 and all that stuff, uh, plus DDR5, there are benefits to this system. But if you're not looking to go over $1,000, you're looking at 919 for this before the discount you get with code SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. But what I would say though, you really should consider beyond just performance numbers, there is more to the story because there's a lot you're not really gonna hear about from the descriptions of both of these systems. For that, I submit to you the Auxilia, okay? Alexander PC's Auxilia has been a hugely popular system because here you have a boutique builder building a budget system. Now, all alliteration aside, there is real value to that, real tangible value, because it's not just how much money you spend at the onset and how much CPU, GPU for money dollars do you get. It's the ownership experience too the build quality as well, the support. 
Now, both Skytech and I by Power have a good reputation within our community for providing support for most of the time and with very few complaints. There are zero complaints in the SI Testimonials channel for Alexander PCs. Uh, and that's not because there's only a few people who have purchased from them. It's nuts how they're pretty much 100% positive. And they'll tell you where why, the, why this has a cheaper CPU, a, an MATX motherboard, though they do put it in an MATX case, which I do, uh, I do appreciate. Uh, so it's the right, case, right motherboard for the right case. But right here it tells you it includes shipping anywhere in the continental US, shipping insurance included, lifetime parts and service warranty. You don't even need to read all the rest of it because lifetime parts and service is super rare in this industry. Not unheard of, but super, super rare. There are three SIs that I can name to you right now that, that have that. And one of them is Alexander PCs, okay? Getting that as part of that $998 price is bonkers. By the way, code Bray, B-R-A-E, takes $50 off of this. That's crazy talk. You can choose Intel or AMD. You go If you go AMD though, it is a Ryzen 5 5500, where the um, Intel 12100F is gonna outperform that. Now, one website I like to go to, though you really need to take this with a grain of salt. There's not, you know, we're, we're not using this with a lot of context, okay? But Tom's Hardware has a GPU hierarchy that they'll update. And they have their methodology uh, written up here and how it's how they sort of sort of do it. And uh, this is all at 1080p Ultra. And uh, then it says where it makes sense. We also test at 1440p Ultra and 4K Ultra. So for this budget, they're just that's not going to be relevant. OK, but if we scroll down to where the uh, RX 6600 is listed, you'll notice that this thing is going to be is going to beat out the RTX 2060, the GTX 1080, well, tons of the most popular GPUs from previous generations. So this has a more powerful GPU than the RX 6600. Well, here's the thing. What's above that? The RX 6600 XT. It's not much more expensive and it can give you a good performance boost. Well, the cool thing about Alexander PCs, this is something that you cannot do with iBuyPower in their ready to ship systems or Skytech with their pre-configured systems. You could purchase one of these and when they send you your confirmation email, you can send an email right back like saying, hey, I'd actually like this to come with an, an RX 6600 XT instead of the standard 6600. What's the price difference? I'll pay it. It's gonna be in the tens of dollars, 30, 40 bucks, whatever, because it's not much more of an expensive GPU. It may mean waiting a little bit longer, but with the $50 off that you get with code Bray, mostly paid, it's pretty much paid for. There you go. And now it's gonna outperform that 3060 and get closer to like 4060 you'll see on some other ones. But with like a lifetime warranty, you even get custom cable extensions in the color of your choice. Might've recommend a nice purple. That's pretty much my recommendations for under $1,000. Now guys, I really need to warn you to watch out for specific brands. And one of them seems to be this Allied one right here, because this one's 879, right? Similar to the other ones. And you know, maybe you'll like this aesthetic. Maybe it'll really jump out at you. You'll be like, oh, that's that's the one. That's the one I want. Look at these specs, okay? For nearly, pretty much the same price as some of the other ones I've shown you already, you'd be getting a Ryzen 5 1600. That's a first gen Ryzen CPU and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. <laughs> no, no. That's old stuff. That is old stuff. That is not nearly as performant as the other systems that I showed you. Watch out for that. Don't just look for like Ryzen 5 or Intel i5. You need to know the generation. You need to know what platform you're getting, what generation of that platform you're getting. And you need to look at these GPUs, find out when they were released. And it's a quick Google search. Just like highlight some text. Well, you can't highlight it there. Highlight the text, right click it and click search Google. Okay, like that's that's it. But I mean, this thing, this thing is is a nightmare. And look, remember what I said? I specifically said earlier about looking for looking at the stars. Don't just go with something that has four and a half stars out of 10 reviews. I said something exactly like that. 4.5 stars out of 10 reviews. 
Now, how hard would it be for Allied here to go make 10 accounts and put in 10 positive reviews? Maybe one of them is four stars instead, just to make it seem more legit. That's not even a, f a whole afternoon to do that, okay? So watch out for stuff like this. Don't just look at the aesthetics. Don't just look at something like Ryzen 5, an NVIDIA graphics card or whatever, okay? This is not a good system for this price, okay? This would be a good system for like that 650 price point we were talking about. It's moving on. So we're gonna, so we're moving on from this 750 to 999 to this 1000 to 1249 price point here. Now I'm gonna say this system here is upside down, and what do I mean from what do I mean by that? Uh, there's a balance that you want to strike with a gaming PC because most of you guys, looking at the statistics that I get from the forms that are filled out by those looking for one-on-one -on -one help to the streams, that's at this point over 200 people who filled out that form. Over 95% of you want a game, right? So when you're going to be gaming and that's a priority for you, your priority should be the GPU over the CPU. Here we have a Core i7, 13700F, right? With an RTX 3060. That is not well balanced at all. This is a terrible spec, and this is not something that iBuyPower should have done. But it could be that iBuyPower was like, hey, we want that i7 on there. There you go. It says i7, gamers, hey, it's got an i7. Go ahead, doesn't matter that it's a non-K 13700, so it's not 13700K, you can't overclock it. And it's an f skew. so if you're trying to do more with it, like video editing, yeah, no quick sync for you, that's not something I would recommend. And if you look, it's the same thing here, to the same price, except that it's a 4060. Overall spec on this, not bad. Uh, you're looking at a Ryzen 5 7600X, so you're on 7000 series Ryzen, 32 gigs of DDR5, and an RTX 3060. 3060 though, out of all the rest of this, that's a little out of place. So what I would do is I would go to Skytech and make a, com compar a comparison with another system from them. So here, for just $40 more, you can get a system with a 4060 Ti and a 13400F instead for $40 more. Then you use code SWARM and you get rid of that extra. And there you go. One terabyte M.2 drive, 16 gigs DDR4, so it's not DDR5 because it's not, you know, 7000 series Ryzen. But for a gaming PC, the 4060 Ti is going to get you better performance than a 3060. There's no arguing that. It's just the facts. Now, another option here, if you want to have future upgradability, you kind of need to go with AMD right now and their 7000 series Ryzen processors because you're going to be able to upgrade that CPU for a few years to come on the same motherboard. But this one would get a Radeon 7600. So let's take a look at this list here. And again, you got to take this with a grain of salt because this is removing certain context. So there's the Radeon RX 7600, okay? And that is very close in performance to the 4060. We're talking about about 2% difference. So there you go. This thing's 1159 so, and you get DDR5, 32 gigs of DDR5, that Radeon 7600 and a 7600X on the processor that you will then later on in the years to come be able to get multi-generational uplift in performance CPU wise on the same motherboard, that B650 motherboard. So. That's a good option too. The 7600 and the 4060 Ti will beat this GPU. So remember, GPU is number one when it comes to gaming. Let's take a look at the next price, but at the next budget point, which is going to be 1500 and up. And for that one, I selected this CLX set gaming desktop with the Intel Core i9 12900KF and a 4060 Ti. I mean, with this, honestly, I'm not a big fan of these specs. It is not very well spec'd out for this price. Um, but you do get, you know, you get a one terabyte M.2 drive and uh, 32 gigs DDR4, 3600. So what I did here, well, honestly, also don't necessarily just look at that. Look at what the actual price is, because this price can fluctuate easily. And it's the, this price is going to change according to Best Buy in less than like 16 hours. So, yeah, whenever you see this, it's probably going to be more like that 1989. So. Using that price as a as a comparison point, what I did was I went to CLX and yes, CLX is good. They're great builders over there. The guy running the show over there, George, super knowledgeable in the SI space and he has tons of experience and he knows what he's doing and the builders over there know what they're doing. And what I did was I took a more budget oriented, customizable system. I kept the lower priced case because this P300A is a very high airflow, very high quality case. And then I just min-maxed it 
on specs with a Ryzen 5 7600X and RX 7800 XT, which is great for 1440p, uh, 32 gigs of DDR5 6000 and 850 watt power supply. So you have some upward mobility when it comes to your upgrades down the line. It's even a really nice power supply with the Corsair RMX 850X. And the motherboard is not their cheapest option either. It is the MSI MAG B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi ATX. The storage is very fast, one terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 530. A lot of great, great options in this system. Price is 2060. However, they have a code right now, save seven CLX that takes 7% off the system. It takes a $144 discount off of the price. There you go. For those of you in the $1,500 to $2,000 budget, there's your system right there. Now, another system that's an option here is going to be this iBuyPower Y40 gaming desktop that Best Buy has at 1849. And this one has an Intel Core i7 13700KF and a 4070. Just by going to iBuyPower and looking at this price point here, and keep in mind, if it's between $1,000 and $2,000 pretty much, the use code Braithorn gets you 50 bucks off. Between $2,000 and $3,000, code Braithorn gets you $100 off of a ready system. But there are four really good options in this price range here, okay? One of them, if you watched my video last week, you'll know that uh, iBuyPower announced that they're partnered up with Riot Games for the VCTA. So this is their entry level spec for that, and it's very much not entry level with a Ryzen 7 7800X3D CPU. It is on a B650M motherboard, so it's micro ATX, but you won't see that because the way the height Y40 case is, it has a, the, the GPU is placed vertically there, so it would block the gap, the ugly gap that you get with a full ATX case getting an MATX motherboard. RTX 4070 and 32 gigs DDR5, two terabyte M.2 Gen 4 SSD, okay? And a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, but there are other options as well. But looking at this Ready North system right here, you get the you get the fractal North case with the wood paneling on the front, just a gorgeous case right here, 1400 KF on a Z790 motherboard with an RTX 4070, 32 gigs DDR5 6000, and a two terabyte M.2 drive, 240 millimeter uh, RGB liquid cooling. Though it's not super visible in the fractal North, but that's part of the aesthetic of that case. The Ready Quiet Night with a 7800 X3D and a 4070, two terabyte storage. You're getting the idea here and the Lancool 003, which has a Lean Lee Lancool 216 case, very good case, with a 7700X, a B650M, again, and here you'll actually see the gap, but this one has a 4070 Ti Super for 1949. That's insane. You have zero reason to buy the system from Best Buy. Four varied systems with different specs but all of them pretty much awesome at the price. Now, we're gonna go above that price range now. We're gonna go up to over $2,000, okay? This system right here is $2,199. It is a Skytech Gaming Azure 2. This one is getting a 13700F, 32 gigs of RAM. That might be DDR5. Let's not make assumptions and actually check. DDR5, 5200, okay. Not super fast DDR5, but in gaming, that doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, you're also looking at a one terabyte M.2 drive and a 4070 Ti. Not a bad spec by any means, by any measurement, but let's compare the Skytech system to some Skytech systems. Yeah, 2209, 14700K 4070 Ti. So just right there, 14700K. That is a monster of a CPU, even compared to its own cousin here, the 13700F. I don't even need to say that much more. Double the storage and it's faster. 32 gigs DDR5, right? They both have the same RAM actually. Um, but that processor difference means that this thing is set up not just for gaming. We're talking about content creation, streaming, all that good stuff, this thing can do it. The motherboard might turn out to be a bit lacking in rear IO, but you can always add in an add-in card, a PCIe add-in card to get more USB out of that. So there you go. There's, there's not really much more for me to say there. It's just objectively better. Let's look at a couple of systems here, okay? Within the $2,500 to $3,000 range, okay? Uh, this is a CLX set uh, gaming desktop right here with a 13900 KF and a 4070. This is again what I mean when I say upside down, okay? An i9 processor with a 70 class CPU from NVIDIA. I don't feel like that's necessary. They could have saved money on the CPU by going with an i5 or an i7 
and put that towards getting a 4070 Ti, 4070 Ti Super, whatever, okay? Uh, two terabytes of storage with a six terabyte hard drive is pretty rad, not gonna lie. That six terabyte hard drive, if you're trying to do content creation, is great. And this thing is set up to be a great content creation PC. Oh, wait, hold on, that's an F in the processor. And that's an F in my estimation because you get no quick sync now. If you like this system, you can go to CLX and configure one just like this, and they get 7% off the system. Neato, gang, there you go. Also, the base price of this is actually $3,200. This shouldn't even be in this part of the video. So let's shift over to this one, because this is where you start seeing Corsair Vengeance PCs. And I'm gonna say it, every review I've seen of a Corsair Vengeance PC, the build quality seemed excellent. It was well reviewed, but you are paying the Corsair tax because the cooler's Corsair, the fans are Corsair, fan controllers are Corsair, cases are Corsair, RAM is usually Corsair. That stuff is generally more expensive than its similarly spec counterparts. So for $2,750, you're looking at a 14700K F, of course. 32 gigs DDR5 6000 is nice, so that's cool. And a 4070 Ti. I got a better option than both of those, okay? I mentioned this in last week's video, and yes, this is a limited run, but you can probably talk to TJ over at Alexander PCs if the 20 or so of these that we have available are all sold out. But this is the the Legionnaire, basically the Brave Thorn Special Edition Legionnaire. Okay, and this one has it doesn't have an F in that 14700K, straight up 14700K. It's not a 4070Ti. It's a 4070Ti Super versus the Corsair 4070Ti, right? Okay. It's in a it's in the awesome fractal uh, pop air case. You get custom etching on the glass. You get these vinyls that if you like the let's go nerds mentality, you want that LGN on there, you, you you leave that thing on there. If not, it's vinyl. It's not printed on there, so you can actually remove that and get a cleaner look. You won't offend me. You still got the etching on there. You're stuck with me. But anyways, uh, you can get it in black or in white, and you're also looking at every single component having deep consideration put into it. The motherboard, the RAM, the storage, two terabyte Kingston KC3000, one of my favorite M.2 drives out there for reliability and for speeds, everything. Super nice, okay? And lifetime warranty. I have seen this company bend over backwards to honor that warranty. TJ, the owner of Alexander PCs, would go broke rather than not honor what he set up with Alexander PCs. But every single spec is here, every single part is listed here. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot to this. So if you're in the $2,500 to $3,000 price bracket, please check this out. Use code BRAE, B-R-A-E, to take 50 bucks off this price. Choose it in white or in black. It is uh, like 30 bucks more in white. That's just the nature of having white GPUs in there. Yes. So let's move on to the, we're getting into the upper limits of price bracket here, right? So we're, let's talk about um, getting up to over $3,000, 3,500 bucks, that price range there. And this one, we're looking at a Skytech Gaming Eclipse Gaming Desktop. This one pulled out all the stops here. And oh my God, we are not seeing the letter F right here. Holy crap, you had to spend 3,500 bucks for that to happen. Wow. But this is actually a great PC for content creation because you got 13900K. That is 24 cores of CPU goodness, 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 in here and the two terabyte NVMe SSD. I need more details on that storage. How about we go find them? You're not gonna you're not gonna know whether that's PCIe Gen 4 or 3 or whatever. Write speeds, read speeds, none of that. Just that two terabytes is 2000 gigabytes. Who knew? System memory is DDR5 5200. Yeah, sure. Okay, all right, 3,500 bucks. A lot of options at SkyTech for that, a lot. And the one we're looking at right now is the Azure 2. 13900K, 4090, 64 gigs of DDR5. It is DDR5 5200, yes, but 64 gigs. Z790 DDR5 motherboard, 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, the awesome Montex Sky 2 case, and a thousand watt gold ATX 3.0 power supply, and a 4090. I mean, it's got it all. Now this 3649, that's more money than $3,500 until you use code SWARM, S-W-A-R-M. But you are getting benefits to this. This is a better system. You have what I believe to be, because they won't tell you on Best Buy's website, a faster two terabyte M.2 drive, double the memory. There you go. If you want more options, 
go over here, take the slider, put it to 3,500 and just and, and, and just choose the one that you like the most because there are a lot of options here. Want something with a 14900K and a 4090? Sure. This thing does look sick in the Azure 2 Blue Edition here. For same thing, 14900, actually 14900K, 4090, 64 gigs of RAM. So a lot of other similar specs, but 1200 watt power supply instead of 1000 watts. Yeah, SkyTech in these pre-configured systems, they pack a lot of value into them. I hope that I've been able to show you guys here that there really isn't a reason to buy from Best Buy unless you actually already have a very specific reason to buy from them. And the only one that I really can understand is if you're if you buy all that kind of stuff through a um, Best Buy card or you have a big Best Buy gift card or something like that. Um, stuff like peripherals, monitors, all that kind of stuff. Go for it. Absolutely. In fact, I've found some pretty good deals on individual components for DIY builds when I needed one in a pinch from Best Buy where they beat out certain competitors in my area. It's just for pre-builds. Nah, bro. I just, I can't, can't really green light that one for you. Sorry. Uh, if you're looking for my opinion on that anyway, you do whatever is right for you. You follow your own path. This is just my take on it and uh, the myriad reasons why I think it's just better to just get directly from the company building your PC, not some third party company that's like squeezing every penny, penny they can get out of those SIs, making them like desperate to compete with each other just to get their PCs on their sh on Best Buy's shelves and then screwing over the consumer. It's just it's not my cup of tea. Keep an eye out for a build stream coming up likely this week. It's kind of up in the air because Deep Cool is uh, sending me part. They, they sent me a bunch of parts for it, but they need to send me a few more things. And we're going to do a really fun build stream this week. So be sure to check that out. Check out the new merch store. I mean, this is actually the new polo. And I was just like, I'm just rocking it. I think it's classy. It's where I have like meetings and when I go to events and stuff, I figured I have a polo. I mean, look at that guy. Look at that. Beautiful stuff, but check out the uh, the links under the video here or go to brayathorn.tech to check out the merch there. It's only going to be getting better and it's all new stuff that we just launched last week. So please check that out. That's going to be it for this one, though. And until the next one. Take care.